Hello. Uh, so the brief scope of this tutorial is basically to show how to obtain uh, 3D uh, divided by 2D surface area using ArcGIS and QGIS. Uh, this is basically the same uh, um, uh, process that we used for this paper uh, in Coral Reefs by uh, Jeremy Carlo et al. that was out uh, uh, earlier in uh, 2020. So uh, basically, the, uh, what I have as an example data set is a drone data set over a coral reef in Palau. Uh, the first thing I did when I received the data set is to transform it in a GeoTIFF. Originally, it was an ASHI file. I transformed that in GeoTIFF and then I reprojected it. So I have now a UTM uh, digital elevation model. So uh, at least the uh, units are in meters. So I'm going to show first uh, uh, what we did in the paper by Carlo et al, which is with uh, ArcGIS. So we go on and we load uh, our UTM digital elevation model. There we go. So this is uh, the digital elevation, uh, the digital elevation model obtained from photogrammetry. We can see a bit better. Yeah, here what it's all about. These are all the, the reef uh, the coral the coral heads up here. So to do this, uh, uh, you need an ArcGIS license and you also need uh, a 3D analyst uh, license. So here in the search, in the toolbar, we put 3D surface and we select surface the surface volume tool from 3D analyst. So we have to select the input surface, which is the uh, the one we loaded, the output text file, I can save it in here, surface 3D ArcGIS, uh, it's going to be a text file uh, that we save. Okay, uh, then we have to select if we want the reference plane above or below, and to understand this, we basically go to the ArcGIS website, uh, if we want the area uh, below uh, a certain threshold or a certain reference plane, we should put the reference plane the highest as possible so we don't cut any peaks and then we select the area below and this is what we want in this case. So we select the area below it and as the plane height, I'm going to choose a very high altitude so I'm sure that no peaks are excluded from this analysis. So the highest value in this DIM is 2.2 meters. I can put 10 meters and it's going to be okay. And I don't want any exaggeration on the Z, so I'm going to leave the Z factor at one. So I press okay. Good, so now that it's done, we have um, another layer that was added here. And if we open it, we can see that the surface area below is about um, 1,000 square meters and the 3D area is obviously uh, much more because we have all the um, rugosity and complexity provided by the corals, so we are at 1,478 meters. To check that everything went uh, correctly, we can uh, uh, plug in the measure tool and we can actually uh, do very quickly an area scan just by looking at the different, uh, just by, by clicking around our raster, we see that even I, I only selected the internal surface, so we are about 870 uh, square meters. So that's that's about that's about right. So to do this with ArcGIS, you need, of course, an ArcGIS license. I did this with the license of the University of Bremen uh, uh, and you need a 3D analyst uh, license. So if you do not have that, there is luckily a way to do uh, the same thing with uh, QGIS. I to do the same thing with uh, uh, QGIS, you have, first of all, to have installed QGIS with uh, GRASS and you have to select it uh, directly from the menu. Now, this is really important because if you uh, go only uh, with the QGIS desktop as it is installed um, normally, 
you will not have the grass tools available and you really have to make sure that when you load QGIS desktop, you load it from this link that I'm showing you here with uh, explicitly grass loaded up. Okay. So we load uh, again the uh, digital elevation model again in uh, UTM. We add it to our, to our maps. And then from the processing toolbox that you can find, uh, you can find out to open it here in the processing tool set up here. We start putting inputting surf and we get into the grass tool raster surface area. This is, uh, this is it. So this is slightly different uh, and also the results are going to be slightly different from what we have seen uh, in ArcGIS. Uh, I suspect, uh, I haven't uh, looked into that, but I suspect there's a slightly different, uh, um, there's a slightly different um, processing behind it, with slightly different equations, but the results are fairly consistent uh, with ArcGIS. So uh, we have no other selections to do that. Um, the region extent, we can leave it at uh, the minimum covering extent, or we can basically use the layer extent as the DM UTM file that we have uh, here. We run it. It's a bit faster than uh, the um, RGIS counterpart. And down here on the lower right of the processing toolbox, uh, a, a link appeared, this linked sends us to a page and here we have uh, all our results now uh, you will see if you let me pull up the comparison with uh, um, let me pull up the comparison with the dm that we did with archie the the calculation we did with the archeis you will see that the 3D area, which is this one for ArcGIS, is fairly similar. Uh, that's the estimated region surface area in QGIS. Uh, 1,475 versus 1,478, but this is probably due to the different um, calculation calculations. Uh, what is different uh, is the 2D area, uh, because basically, uh, the region that we have uh, here in uh, um, in QGIS is the bounding region of of this uh, raster, and not only uh, the clipped region of the raster. But you will actually realize that if you subtract this value from this value, so the null value area uh, to the plan area, uh, you will get. Uh, the same number of this one. Actually, we can give it a try with a calculator. So this one, I'm pasting just the values minus this one equals almost exactly 926.77, 926.74, almost exactly the area that we have um, that we have uh, from the ArcGIS processing. So basically to calculate then uh, the complexity, uh, what you would have to do is uh, uh, to divide the 3D area and uh, uh, with by the 2D area. So basically divide this number uh, by this one minus this one actually. So this is uh, uh, a quick, way of to calculate um, 2D, 3D uh, uh, divided by 2D area in ArcGIS and uh, QGIS.